I hope you guys are hungry for creativity because it is time for another Art Snacks. That's right. Mystery art supplies delivered to your front door every month. And if you want 10% off your first box, follow the link in the description. Thank you so much to Art Snacks for supporting this channel. Let's open this box and see what we're going to be creating with today. I don't know why I always forget the amazing bubble wrap zipper pouch but it's my favorite thing ever. Okay, let's get our pad of paper out of the way. Put this guy in the corner. Ooh, okay, so, wow. Whoa, okay, I didn't even realize this is actually not only black paper, but it's black watercolor paper. I was actually looking for this back when I did the reverse color challenge. I'm really curious to see how that works considering watercolors are so transparent. Let's go ahead and put a piece right here for swatching our supplies as we pull them out. Our next art supply is the General's Multi-Pastel Chalk Pencil. Apparently this is good if you don't like the mess of a pastel. I'll be honest, I don't think I've really ever tried pastels before. Let's see how it erases, I'm curious. Oh, very easily actually. Is it messy? Let's find out. It is indeed very messy. Next up is this Kuretake brush pen. Looks like we have both a large and a smaller nib. Though this being a black pen on black paper, how well is this going to work? It shows up a little bit, but I have to wonder, does it layer on top of pastel? Here we go. Does it just pick up the pastel, I wonder? Interesting. Okay, so it looks like, ooh. Oh boy, our next art supply are these soft pastels all in purple. You know, I actually don't mind those really darker shades on the end, but those really bright ones aren't my speed. But for now, I'm going to foolishly jump in without any knowledge of how to use pastels. And I'm going to do a quick little swatching of all of our colors. Let's kind of just see what sort of I don't know, spread. We get all of you pastel lovers out there are probably cringing. Don't you worry. I will look up proper ways on how to use pastels after I'm done fiddling around with them. I'm a strong believer in just kind of jumping in and playing around with things and then looking up how they work because what's the fun if you can't, you know, have fun. Next up is the Zebra Zensations Graphics Technical Pencil. We'll just come in here and scribble a little bit. It's a pencil, y'all. Next up is something I have no idea what it is. The Royal and Lang Nickel Artist, uh-oh. Chamoy? Chamoy. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen that word written out before because this is, this is a chamois, which, you know, like, like wow. Let's pretend that never happened. Okay, so let's come in here. Oh, it feels like it's just kind of, oh no, I feel like I'm doing this incredibly wrong. Oh no, oh no. Oh gosh, I'm definitely gonna have to look up a tutorial. Oh, oh boy. Before I look up a tutorial, let's just continue swatching with our Credicolor Mega Colored Pencil in very bright orange. I bet it would be a lot more vivid on white paper, but we are working on black paper today, so that's fine. Last but not least, we have our Edding 1200 Metallic Color Pen. Ooh. I almost forgot we have our Art Snacks sticker of the month and our snack, which is a root beer dum-dum. I love dum-dums, but I hate root beer, so I'm going to have to pass on this one. But you know who will eat anything? That's right, Sock Casey. All right, with all of our art supplies unboxed and swatched, I'm going to watch a few tutorials so that I know better how to use these materials. And then we'll get to sketching some ideas. So I will see you guys after, after a few tutorials. And I'm back. I did a little bit of testing, did a little bit of watching, and I think compared to this very sad attempt at blending colors together, I've done a lot better down here, and I even tried to do a sphere. It's not the best sphere, but it's a sphere. As someone who doesn't work with pastels, I think I've got enough practice as I can to, you know, jump in there and start trying with an actual illustrated piece. 
With such a random assortment of supplies, I think it's gonna be really interesting to challenge myself to try to create an illustration that's similar to my old art style. And by old art style, I just mean, you know, with, with watercolors or Posca pens. So I cut ourselves out a little frame so I can work on this piece and not have to worry about a border. And then I can put this second piece over on top of it and create a nice border. So I guess I'm just going to, oh my gosh. <laughs> Little Miss Heavy Handed over here just broke this pastel in half. Whoopsies. Wow, my arm is very tired. I obviously am very weak and need to work out my arm a little bit more. Holy heck, okay. Okay, so to blend our sky, I actually did try to use our chamois a little bit, um, but honestly, I just found that it, more than anything, it just kind of picked up the pastel and left me with black paper. So honestly, I think I am just going to use my finger, even though it is the dirtiest way to do this. It just seems like it created a much better result and I was much happier with it. So I almost want to go for a more rough look, but at the same time, oh my gosh, look how smooth that gradient is oh my gosh maybe a little bit more added in there so before i continue on to the rest of our idea i actually did mean to do some sketches so let's just do some quick little doodles oh, using um our gold pen maybe actually it might be kind of fun to do a quick mock-up of our gradient sky so i can get a better idea of what our illustration is going to look like so i'm going to quickly make a mini gradient sky of what we just did i kind of can't believe how easy it is to make a gradient i wonder if we can actually work with the black bean maybe like a field of black grass so we can play around with our pastels and not blend them so we can start off with the sky and have light pieces of grass and then we can slowly work our way getting darker the other option would be to either use our green pastel so what if we also played around with i don't know orange flowers I seem to be avoiding the middle, so I wonder if maybe we can put a character of some sort in the middle. Let's see, we've got gold. Maybe we can do, hmm, actually, you know what? Can I blend green on top of the purple? Let's find out. Not really, hmm, I'm not sure what to do about that. Now I haven't used our black pen here. Um, we can do a Casey Golden Classic. Oh no! We can't. We can't add small little bird details because it just gets soaked up into the pastel. I feel like all of our wet supplies are getting clogged up by the pastel. That's no good. Let's see, I never really finished our green ball of light sketch. I think I just kind of gave up on um, it because it wasn't really turning out. I think it's clear that this is our winner as far as the sketch goes. I think it's just very simple and it uses all the elements i think the best as far as our art supplies goes so i think i'm gonna go with our little gold spirit kitty all right bringing back our larger piece all right so let's start in the background of our piece and create all of our tiny little green blades of grass using our green pastel pencil Next up, I think I'm going to go through with our black pen and start adding those. Oh, maybe the pastel is clogging it up a little bit. These lines are definitely helping add a little bit of texture and maybe just keep it from being so flat. So I like it. Very simple addition to our grass here. Kind of hard to see. Um, but it's there, I promise. All right, so let's start adding some of our little orange flowers just to add, oh gosh, a pop of color. Hopefully they will show up a little bit on this green grass. 
I don't know how many of my videos recently you've been watching, but I just love adding a bunch of flowers to a field. I think it's just a very simple and effective way to create a lot of detail with a little bit of effort and keeping it simple while somehow also adding a lot of detail. I don't know how that one works, but it works. I think I'm actually going to, oh gosh, draw this without a sketch or anything. I'm not even gonna use a reference. So this deer might end up looking really stupid. Um, wish me luck, here I go. Oh gosh. The thicker brush side definitely works a lot better than the thinner side did, so that's good. It does look like it has a bird's head. Oh my gosh, I love this. But I do wanna give it antlers. So it's going to be maybe a combination of a deer, and some sort of bird. Duck or deer tail, you be the judge. All right, so now that we have the, I guess, base of our deer down, I thought it would be fun to add some details to it, like spots and the antlers, and overall just very magical touches to it with our gold shiny pen. Maybe I'll make the sparkles kind of swirl around the piece just to add a little bit something over here, because it is a little plain, but I'm not against having room to breathe. It might be nice to have it kind of swirl around. All right, let's add some antlers to our creature. Oh gosh, the pen? This gold pen is getting all bogged up with pastel. I hope I can keep it clean. Okay, let's see. Do you see how the pastel is kind of getting caked onto our gold pen? It's kind of frustrating having to work around this, but we'll get through it. As you can see, I keep using my fingertips to uh, clean it off. <laughs> Maybe I should get a paper towel or something. I kind of want to give the creature eyes, but I'm afraid I'm just going to make it look goofy, but I guess that's kind of my art, isn't it? Oh gosh. I mean, it doesn't look super goofy, but it kind of takes a little bit of the seriousness away. I think our creature actually looks kind of weird without ears. I figured because it was a duck-like creature, it didn't need ears, but I am going to add some ears to our um, duck deer. Honestly, it just kind of looks like a weird pointy nose deer and not a beak, but um, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. I kind of feel like I should give it wings and that would help kind of push the duck or bird aspect. Probably gonna regret this, but here we go. Just little wings, nothing crazy. Oh no, I've got some bad news. Here's my hand. And here is our creature's face. All right, hopefully this is an easy fix and then we'll be done, maybe. It looks like the entirety of our creature kind of has this purple, hazy dusting. I'll just go over uh, all of it and re-darken re our creature. I actually think I'm going to leave the farther leg still all purplish because I think it gives off a really cool effect that makes it look like the leg is maybe behind the deer like in a fog or something so that's actually kind of cool. Unfortunately it looks like that uh, there's a lot of purple on our grassy area. I think I'm also going to leave the deer with no eyes because I think it was just a little bit goofy. Thankfully it was easy enough to cover up but I think overall that is going to be that for this illustration. So let's put our little frame on. Ooh, look how clean and crisp it is now with the frame. So here is our finished illustration using the pastels and the gold pen. I think it turned out pretty cute, a little unexpected. I had a lot of fun experimenting with these pastels, even though they're scary and messy. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget if you want to get your own art snacks box check out the link in the description and I will see you guys in the next video. But real quick a big thank you to all of my patrons for their support you guys are seriously amazing. If you want to become a patron and get early access to my videos a shout out my video, update on my book, secret sketches and more check out the link in the description. Seriously thank you guys so much for the support. Stay golden. Bye!